Got a bunch of questions on the amount of substance topic. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you wanted to give them a try first. So first question, we've got to calculate how many moles of nitrogen atoms we've got in 5.117 times 10 to 20 nitrogen molecules. So that's obviously N2. So the number of nitrogen atoms is going to be 2 times that 5.117 times 10 to the 20. So that equals 1.0234 times 10 to the 21 atoms. So the number of moles is the number of things, number of atoms, 1.0234 times 10 to the 21 divided by Avogadro's number. And in standard form, that's 1.7 times 10 to the minus 3. Next question is an ideal gas question because we've got a volume of gas, we've got a pressure, and we've got a temperature. So it's PV equals NRT. And to calculate the molar mass, the MR, we need to know how many moles we've got because we've got the mass in grams. So we can work out the MR from that. So this rearranges to N equals PV over RT. So obviously we've got to know our um, units for the ideal gas. So pressure has got to be in pascals. So they've given us it in kilopascals, so that's 100,000 pascals. Times the volume, so 761 cm cubed, it's got to be in meters cubed. So all, all I do is put the conversion on. So we divide by a million to get it into meters cubed. So I just put times 10 to the minus 6 at the end of the cm cubed. Divided by R, 8.314. Multiplied by temperature, which has to be in Kelvin. Well, it is, so 366. So that comes out at 0 0.0250 moles. So the MR is the mass 1.15 divided by those moles, 0 0.025, and that comes out at 46.0. So next question is a reactant mass question. We've got to calculate the mass of aluminium chloride that's formed off this reaction from 0 0.08 moles of aluminium. So the mole ratio between the aluminium and the aluminium chloride is just 1 to 1. So it's going to produce um, 0 0.08 moles of AlCl3 will form. So all we need to do is uh, work out the MR of aluminium chloride, and then we're going to use that to work out the mass that's going to form. So MR of aluminium chloride is 133.5. So mass is moles times MR. So that's 0 0.08 multiplied by 133.5 we've got to give our answer to three significant figures and that is 10.7 next question is a reacting volume question at rtp so it's not ideal gas if it says room temperature and pressure or rtp so we've got 1.86 grams of p4 and we've got to work out how many um, cm cubed of phosphine gas so that's a one-to-one -one ratio so the first thing we'll do is work out the moles of P4. Mass over MR, 1.86 divided by 124. So that's 0.015. So the moles of pH3 that will form is the same, 0.015. And the volume um, at RTP is going to be moles 0 0.015 times 24,000 because we need it in cm cubed and that's 360. Number five is another reacting volumes question again it's at room temperature and pressure so it's not ideal gas and we've got to give the answer in cm cubed and it's got to be to the nearest whole number. Okay so the teacher heats 0.824 grams of um, potassium chloride 5 how much oxygen is produced so that's a 2 to 3 ratio that we're going to have to factor in so the first thing we'll do is work out the moles of KClO3 so that's mass over MR 0 0.824 over 122.6 
that's 0 0.00672. So the moles of oxygen um, that's going to be produced is going to be 3 over 2 times those moles. And that's 0 0.0101. The volume um, at RTP is going to be the moles, 0 0.0101 times 24,000 again, because we need it in cm cubed, and to the nearest whole number, that comes out at 242. Next one, calculate the relative formula mass of MgCl2.6H2O, so that's called hydrated magnesium chloride. So essentially, if we that dot there splits this into two parts. The part to the left of the dot is the anhydrous part of the salt, and the water is called water of crystallization. So basically, this um, salt is made up from um, one part magnesium chloride, MgCl2, and six parts of water. So the MR is gonna be 24.3 for the magnesium, plus two times 35.5 for the two chlorines, plus six times 18 for those six waters. And the one decimal place, that's 203.3. Number seven, we've got this Bronze Age shield, which contains 2.08 kilos of tin. So obviously that needs to go into grams. Um, calculate the number of tin atoms in the bronze shield. So the first thing we've got to do is work out how many moles of tin we've got. So moles of tin is 208.0 grams divided by 118.7 is the MR of tin. That's 17.523 moles. So the number of atoms is moles times Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to 23. And that comes out at 1.05 times 10 to the 25, two, three significant figures. And the final question, another reactant volume at RTP question, and again it wants it in cm cubed. So none of the questions on this have asked for the uh, volume to be in decimeters cubed. So we've got 9.12 grams of europium, so moles of europium, first of all. Mass over MR, 9.12 divided by 152, that's 0.06 moles. So the moles of oxygen that um, is needed for a full reaction is 3 over 4 times those 0 0.06. So that's 0 0.045 moles. And therefore the volume at RTP is going to be 0 0.045 times 24,000 again for, for centimetres cubed. So it's one zero. 8-0.